It's going to be a while before we get a look at the new Mortal Kombat movie sequels trailer, but that doesn't mean we won't see some teases along the way, and that includes character costumes, props, weapons, and more. Now that we know that the sequel to the 2021 Mortal Kombat movie has finished filming, we do have some little teases to look over, and of course, it wouldn't be a Mortal Kombat channel without some thoughts and opinions. So let's get right into it. So as we know, Shao Kahn is confirmed to be in the film, and when being discussed in the first film briefly, we were shown a statue of him. Now of course, this statue is iconic as it gets because it does look pretty awesome. Now the only thing is, I just hope that the design of this character's costume stays faithful. Because if you remember from previous events, Annihilation showcased Shao Kahn with his bald head in most of the film. And then when he actually wore his mask or helmet, it was a cheap rubbery cosplay, and it was extremely disappointing. Then in the 90s TV series Conquest, we got another adaptation of Shao Kahn, and he actually looked decent, though not really the best, but good enough. So hopefully we can pray for the best that this version of Shao Kahn will be intimidating because if you see the actor who's playing him, I hope he gets the costume that he deserves. Because right now all we have is his hammer, which looks pretty good. So I'll give them that with its attention to detail and hopefully it's used as intended and not just something to throw rain into the fire pit for. Next we have Quan Chi, and so far the only image we have of Quan Chi will be his hands and fingers. Granted that this is merely a small tease, but I hope that the aesthetic of this character is portrayed well, and only time will tell before I roll my eyes and say, this could have been a little better. The reason why I say this is because Quan Chi is not necessarily a hard character to pull off, especially with his white face paint and costume. But when looking at what we had to deal with prior, the Mortal Kombat Annihilation movie was supposed to have a third film before it was scrapped. And here we have a look at Quan Chi, and I will say it's impressive, from the chain to the spikes and more. Then we have Quan Chi that was casted in Mortal Kombat's Conquest series, in which even here the costume looks awesome, but the character's acting was a bit, um, questionable. And last but not least, we have Quan Chi from the Mythology Sub-Zero video game, whom again has a great costume and decent acting. So now we have three great adaptations of the character as the only weakest one we have is Quan Chi from the miniseries Mortal Kombat Legacy. Didn't get to see too much of him there, but with the white face paint and super modern approach didn't really work well for me. Next, we only have Kitana's fanblade. So by us knowing that Kitana will be in this film, especially with her mother Queen Sindel and King Jared, as well as explaining her origins, I hope this character has a decent look. Because at the moment, all we have is Katana from both Mortal Kombat films, and which is probably the best we have. And then there's Katana from the Mortal Kombat Legends series, which isn't too bad. But hopefully we can get a Katana in a proper blue outfit seen from the video games, but that's just wishful thinking. And then to conclude this video, we have Johnny Cage. At the moment, all we have is Johnny Cage's belt and his jacket that's similar to the video game's color scheme of the blue jacket with the white varsity letters of JC on it. And honestly, I'm really dreading this character, not because the actor who's playing it though could have been better, but just the overall look. Granted that both actors in the first two films were switched and wore the green teal shirt with black pants, then we have the Mortal Kombat Legends Johnny, whom was whatever. With Carl Urban set to play as this character, I'm really hoping that this does justice and acts cooler than just someone who's going to be a comedic relief. Because let's be honest, no one is going to be better than the 95 Johnny Cage. So with that said, let me know in the comments below about these teases and give a like and subscribe for more updates.